Oh, cool. I have a pimple. Hello, my name is Miles. I'm 23 years old and I have a clothing company called Beaten Path Co. Uh, my girlfriend and I run it out of our apartment. Yesterday was Earth Day. We celebrated by walking down the street, collecting a bunch of trash. We actually collected about four bags worth in about 10 minutes. Um, it's crazy how much trash is out there. Honestly, both of us had a ton of fun doing it. I forgot how fun it is to clean up trash. It's just a mind numbing activity. It's almost the same reason that you watch TV or you play a video game. It's kind of like a scavenger hunt. If you have free time, grab a bag, go outside. There's so much trash out there and it's honestly really fun to go do. This morning, we had an Earth Day beach cleanup. My company and my friend's company, Shark Tooth Kombucha, we combined forces um, and created a flyer and had free kombucha and two prizes if you came out and collected the most trash. Uh, we had a great turnout, uh, probably about 30 to 40 people, maybe 50. Lots of trash was collected. We went out to Anastasia Island in St. Augustine and we got to do what we can to clean up the beach. We're already planning many more in the near future. Next up is probably Volano Beach. If you're interested, just stay tuned on my Instagram or any of my social medias. I will be posting it and you can join us. Today's YouTube video is going to be just a glimpse of a day in the life with me. Um, and yeah, you're going to see what it's like to live a day in the eyes of Miles. So many of you don't know, but my girlfriend and I moved into this apartment in the middle of COVID been about two years. This lease ends in the middle of summer and we are planning on moving, but at the moment I'm gonna just show you what the setup is like because we have maxed out our space in this apartment for the company. It's a good problem to have. I'm super grateful, um, but we are very tired of going up and down three flights of stairs and we have big boards for events and it's just, it's a headache. So yeah, we're ready for the next, the next move and we're gonna miss this place because it is very unique. You can see that the ceiling is right there. Um, so I'm going to do, I'm just going to show you guys, uh, the apartment real quick. So this is the living room. Uh, this is where our inventory is for our events. We keep some stuff right there. This is our table set up, um, to package up the orders. These are the labels from yesterday and today for earth day. That's the front door. This is our kitchen. It is our favorite part of the house probably. Ignore the messes. We are, we have been crazy busy. We're almost done with college. So it's just been a crazy few weeks, but, um, yeah, Kendall does her studying here. I do my studying here. We are about one or two weeks done and we will be finished with college forever. So we're super grateful straight from the living room. We have the bedroom. Um, those are my clothes. These are Kendall's clothes. We do not have a closet. We have a little tiny closet, um, but it doesn't do anything. So we have our lockers for our clothing, um, some racks, the bed, and then straight from there, the bathroom. In my previous video, there is a house tour um, or an apartment tour. So if you want to see the entire thing, we've got like a secret little door right here, Ooh, right here. Uh, that's like a Harry Potter closet. I think you guys should check that out if you want to see the rest of the apartment, but that's basically it. Next up on today's list, I got to package some orders. So I'm going to take you along and show you how I do that. Does anyone else like never use a chair how you're supposed to use a chair? I feel like I just never sit in it properly. I'm always like leaning over it or sitting on it like really weird on my feet. To me, it feels normal, but other people call me out for it. So I don't know, am I the only one? I already printed out all the orders. So now I'm going to tear them and package them up. I just want to say if you've ever supported our company, thank you so much. Um, it means the world to me and I hope that we can all just make the world a better place. That's the whole point of the company. So these are yesterday's and today's orders. Um, and I'm just always so thankful uh, for the support that we get. I've done this for about four years now and I think this is always my favorite part. That's a peacock. The peacocks are beautiful. When we first moved here, we loved them. Uh, but they, the, for the past two months, it's been mating season and I have not slept. I have not slept. I'm, I have not slept. So when I package orders, uh, this is how I do it. So first up is a large Augie crew neck. 
come over to the racks, move this out of the way. Now we go to the Augie crew necks, um, and then oh, here is the large Augie crew neck. I wanted a sweatshirt nicknamed after this town. Um, a lot of people call St. Augustine Augie, so, or St. Augie, so that's the uh, story behind the name. Put down the sweatshirt. Next up is a berry medium tee. Go to the classics. Because we have limited space, uh, pretty much every order I have to mess with all the arrangement of the shirts to find the exact shirt for the order. Behold the berry tees. Got the medium berry tee. This, oh wow, I didn't even mean to put it in cinematic view. Maybe I'll do that. The berry, the blue jean, and the moss colors are the three first shirts that we started with. Um, so we refer to these as the classics. Set down the classic tee. Next is a Nurture Nature tote bag. And then here is the Nurture Nature tote bag. Grab that. In order to put these in with the t-shirts, I give them just a tiny fold like that. And last up is a gray old school beanie. Head over to the beanies. And there it is. For those that don't know, I actually sew these on myself. Um, I sew on all of the patches myself. Top it off with the beanie. I always top it off with a few stickers. And then a note from Beaten Path Headquarters. Place the stickers in the note right here in the middle of the order. Since this is a bigger order, I put it in a bigger bag. Seal it up like that. Flip it over. The packaging I use is actually plastic free, which is very cool. You put it in with your trash and it decomposes in just a few weeks. And then put the label right here on the bag. And then I toss it in the hamper. Uh, and then once I'm all finished, I'll take these all to the post office. To finish the rest, it takes about one to two hours, but of course I'm not gonna show that all. So here's a time lapse of me finishing up the rest of the orders. So this is pretty cool. Uh, Bella from Indiana wants me to sign her shirt. I'll have a few people that want me to do that, so I don't know, it's just very cool and it makes me feel really special that a lot of people want my signature. Okay, so there's the signature. Uh, I think it looks good. Okay, Kate from California wants me to sign a tote bag. Kate also got a bunch of my favorite designs, so I just wanted to show you guys what those are. So we got the Statement Tee, the Electric Surf Tee, and the Soul Crop Top. These custom labels are fairly new, and I'm just so stoked about them. And Kate also got this Protect Our Parks tote bag and this sticker pack. Usually I just toss these in a tiny biodegradable bag and then seal it up. And then I'll put it in between the t-shirts like usual. So this is where I see if a customer left me a note and Kate said, could you by chance sign the tote bag for me? It would be very appreciated. Of course I can. I am going to sign it. Where should I sign it? This one is tricky. Should I sign it on the back? Okay, I've decided I'm gonna sign it right here so that it's like kind of flowy with the design. I think it looks good. Goes with the with the design. All right, so that's what it looks like. Fold this up. Since they bought a lot, I add a ton of stickers for them. Okay, back to the time lapse. The final package. In just under two hours, we did it. Okay, so this is uh, the total for today. I'm gonna try not to throw my back out. I guess today and yesterday. How do I look? Oh. This always makes me feel like Santa Claus. It's like the best feeling. So I'm gonna set these on the couch. And today is Saturday, but it's actually like five o'clock. So the post office is closed and it will be closed tomorrow. So Monday, after I'm done with work, I'm gonna head to the post office and deliver those. Running a clothing company inside the house uh, has pros and cons, but it does keep you inside for a long period of time. And because I'm an outdoor clothing company, I try to go outside as much as I can. So typically when I'm done with orders, I 
just go outside for a little bit, whether that's a walk or a bike ride or a skateboard. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. It is extremely hot outside. It just started getting to that 80 degree level here in Florida. It's the middle of April. I'm not prepared for the 100 degree weather in the middle of summer. Okay. I'm gonna grab a skateboard. This is the building we live in, um, and we're on the top floor on the other side of the building. It's not too bad. It's an old Coast Guard barracks from 1946, and these were the rooms for the Coast Guard, and then in the back, there's a house for the, I believe, captain lived there. And that's my car. It just got pooped on by a ton of peacocks. It's hotter inside than it is outside. It feels great. So I live off of this street. It is called Magnolia Drive. Magnolia Drive, Magnolia Avenue. It's Florida's most beautiful street. And this is what it looks like. It's actually very frustrating because there's never a time when there's not cars or trolleys or, yeah, you get the, you get the point. If there wasn't cars or trolleys, it would be very enjoyable, but it is just so pretty. Can never get enough of it. Although they're building four new houses right here um, and they just cut all the trees that hung over the other day so seems like things just continue to get worse i hate to be like the debbie downer but at least in florida things just it keeps getting weirder and weirder people are building things and so many people have moved here but there's just everywhere you go there's construction um and i'm trying to raise awareness about it on my instagram page and talk about it when we moved here there was never cars on the street. I guess it was COVID, but if you look behind me, it's just a continuous amount of cars. I don't know. Yeah, they're building a ton of new things over there, a bunch of hotels, new houses. Meanwhile, it's like the water is already flooding, but that's why I have a company and that's why I have a platform to talk about it and raise awareness. <laughs> Yesterday for Earth Day, my girlfriend and I skated just down the street and we collected a ton of trash and it felt really good to do. Let's see how many trolleys we can find. These are the trolleys. They have taken over the town and all of the locals can't stand them. Oh, there's another one. It's crazy. And the worst part about the trolleys is they don't even tell the truth about the town. In some cases they do, but they lie about a lot, which is just crazy. Kendall and I plan on moving out to Colorado or Oregon or California. We're still planning it and looking around. And I'll miss Florida for sure, but I, I won't miss this influx of people that are moving here and visiting. There's an old, like an old Model T car. Check this thing out. This is so cool. I think it was a fake Model T. I think it was just a, a tour car, so false alarm. Let's go see if we can find some peacocks. Something I'll really miss about this apartment is we get this whole yard. So that's this side of the yard. And here's the other side of the yard. I think I found a peacock. We have a ton of them in our yard. It's mating season, so they've been very, very loud. So this is a female. They're still very pretty, but not nearly as pretty as the male. Come here. Hi. Hi, sorry I don't have any food. Hi, honey. Like that is an actual dinosaur. So cool. So on the other side of this fence is the Fountain of Youth. Um, it's a very big tourist attraction. Ooh. And there's a lot of the peacocks right there. So that's the male. A very, very pretty bird. And then that is the female. Am I pretty? I'm on a fence. I got some skating in. I'm gonna go upstairs and work on some homework. Thanks for watching the whole thing. Even if you skip to the end, thanks for, thanks for watching it at all. Should I do more videos like this? What should I do next? I know this is my first video in a long time, so I wanna do more. What should I do? Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.